Hi guys, welcome to video three of my Advanced Warfare series. This one is talking about railway systems. Um, when we first started talking about adding railways to the game, uh, my group was talking about uh, uh, like uh, a new a new facility. Uh, you know, you have to buy a train station. Uh, and I know historical board gaming has cool little markers for the rail systems being damaged, not damaged, and this and that. But like I mentioned before, I don't I don't want to change the game. I don't want to add units. I don't want to add more things to buy. I want to enhance what is already here. So what I came up with was integrating the railway system, uh, basically minor industrial complex and major industrial complex are to be are considered to have railways built into them just like the AAs. Um, now I like that idea because we have naval bases and we have air bases which allow those units to go a plus one so why not have the railways built into these facilities giving ground units plus one. So that's the range everybody is just upped one if leaving from a industrial complex. Now, added ranges only uh, on non-combat only. Uh, basically, it's to help you relocate your assets. It's not there as an attacking. I mean, you don't own that railway, so you can't use it to go into uh, enemy territory. You know, that, that would be their railway, provided they had the range with the industrial complex nearby. Um, so that also means that you can't go here on your combat and take that and then non-combat in it you know so I wouldn't be able to go one two into it because I didn't own it at the beginning of my turn um, you have to own it at the beginning of your turn to use the full amount and uh, also so I mean you may not use it to blitz you know that's just a reiteration of the non-combat movement only um, any damage to the industrial complex is to be considered damage to the railway system even if it's just one damage it doesn't matter any damage to the facility at all renders it useless and of course just like normal if you repair the unit at the at the uh, repair unit phase just like uh, air base uh, or any other base you repair it at the beginning of your turn and then it becomes operational just the only difference is these have to be 100 percent operational to utilize the railway system now, what's really great about it is not only does it help Germany get to Moscow faster. I mean, you know, if you're in turn five or whatever, I mean, you, you can automatically just pump and pump and pump. I mean, it gets quick, but it's also great for the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union has four facilities right here. That's a lot of being able to relocate your assets. I mean, just having... you. You can pretty much reach anywhere. The, you know, the railway would pretty much be utilized any position. I mean, you can go here, you can go there. I mean, you're automatically there. It's it's uh, It really helps Russia on the defensive, for sure. I mean, you have so much, you have so much range right here. Uh, you could really get your whole army to a specific location fast. I mean, it's just, whoosh, bam, they're here, whoosh, bam, they're here. Um, it really puts a uh, defensive uh, for Russia. and uh, But like I said, once Germany pops through a little bit, um, it also gives them an advantage as well to um, get their units there faster. So it's, uh, it's, really, it's really good battles up there. Um, so that's it. Like I said, uh, not trying to change the game, trying to enhance the game. I will have this card in the download description, just like the other ones, if this is something that interests you. Okay, guys, take care uh, and wait for... Uh, we got lots more. We have lots more coming. All right, bye-bye.